Bula, Malele, Talofa, and welcome to Season 7, Episode 75 of Breakfast Bites by TevoVoSports.com, a wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a sunny and bright Wednesday morning, 20 December 2023, coming to you with Dan Zavanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent. In Rugby League, the Cronulla Sharks have signed the prize signature of Tongan enforcer Aidan Fanua Blake on a four-year deal from 2025. The Bulldogs and Tigers fell out of the race while the Dragons were believed to be the forerunners. But the Sharks came out of nowhere to lock him up. Fanua Blake has played 159 NRL games, 97 for Manly and 62 for the New Zealand Warriors. In addition to 11 international games for Tonga, including the 2021 World Cup and one test for New Zealand. Following his impressive 2023 season, where he played 26 games for the New Zealand Warriors, who finished fourth on the NRL table, Fanua Blake was named alongside Payne Haas as a front rower in the Dally M Team of the Year. In Rugby Union, all the talk around the Carver Bowls in Fiji today is that the management and coaching team of the Fijian Drua, led by CEO Mark Evans and head coach Mick Byrne, should be appointed to take over the Flying Fijians, lock, stock and barrel. In football, former England and Man U star Gary Neville on Tottenham's uh, Aussie manager, Anji Postikokalu, what he's done in such a short period of time is quite staggering, Neville said on Sky Sports. He's put something in place that's breathtaking to watch. Spurs fans won't like this, but he's amazing, and if you're Manchester City losing Pep Guardiola in a year or two, you'd be looking at Angie Postecoglou now thinking, wow, that's exactly what we want to see, he said. But for the time being, Spurs fans can enjoy one of the best uh, brands of football I've seen since I finished playing. I love watching Tottenham Hotspur play. In combat sports, Deontay Wilder is hoping to deliver a devastating knockout against Kiwi Nigerian Joseph Parker. Parker should be worried. I always say, women lie, men lie, but numbers don't lie. I am the hardest punching boxer in history. Every guy I've faced, I've either knocked them out or put them on the canvas, so I've, I'm very dangerous, and he should be aware of that. In Sportsbiz, World Cup cricket champion Mitchell Stark has been sold for a record sum in yesterday's Indian Premier League, Premier League auction. Stark, who has not made an IPL appearance since 2015, was stepped up by the Kolkata Knights. Knight Riders for 4.42 million Australian dollars, the highest price in the competition's history, following an intense bidding war with the Gujarat Titans. If the left armer bowls four overs in every match during the six-week competition, he'll make approximately $13,185 per delivery. Other Australians sold in the 2024 IPL auction, Pat Cummings, $3.66 million to Sunrisers Hyderabad, Spencer Johnson, $1.78 million to Gujarat Titans, Travis Head, $892,000 to Delhi Capitals, and Ashton Turner, $178,000 to Lucknow Supergiants. In U.S. sports, NBA legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has been hospitalized after falling at a concert and suffering a broken hip, according to a statement on Sunday, 17 December. Abdul-Jabbar, 76, is a six-time NBA champion and six-time most valuable player in his 20 league seasons. The statement did not say what concert Abdul-Jabbar was attending when he fell, but I'm guessing he's a Swifty. And that's a wrap. For TaveOverSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.